Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to change the LCD screen in the Microsoft Lumia 640. If your Lumia 640 has a broken screen, don't worry, this is one of the easiest phones ever to change the screen on. I'll walk you through step by step. So to remove the back cover, what you want to do is just grab the phone, make sure your device is powered off, and what you want to do is you can start right in this corner right here, just around the corner, and you can kind of grab that corner and just lift up, work your way across, and then the back cover comes right off. To remove the battery, just put your finger in this slot right here and just pry right up there and the battery lifts right out. So next what you want to do if you have any SIM card or memory card you want to remove those and then you want to have a torque size T4 screwdriver. So if you get a kit with a tool set make sure it has a torque size T4 in it. What we're going to do is we're going to remove all these screws all the way around here. There's six that you can see and then what we need to do is peel up this little adhesive strip right here and there's number seven screw right here. So we'll want to remove that as well. And then there's two screws right here. They also use a torque size T4 screwdriver. We need to remove those, but keep these screws separate of the others because they're a different size. So next, now that you have all the screws out everywhere, including the one under this sticker right here, then what you can do is just grab the phone and it's starting to separate right here already. And we can just carefully pry up. So the top lets loose and then the bottom lets loose. Then when we get it down this far, we want to kind of keep it at a 90 degrees like this. And then there's a couple connectors we need to remove. I'll turn it around like this so you can see. There's a connector right here. We can just use like a plastic pry tool. I would recommend using plastic, not anything metal. Or you can use your fingernails if you have to. And remove those two connectors right there. And that part comes apart just like that. So this Lumia 640 is one of the easiest phones to change the screen on which is good news for you guys. But what I wanted to go over is it's only usually a couple bucks more on this phone to get the whole frame assembly like this, the LCD and frame and everything. So when you buy one, it should look like this. It should have the metal frame like this. And I'll include links in the video description where you can find it for a good price. And it should have this already included from what I'm seeing. So the only thing that we need to swap over is the earpiece speaker and the front camera and proximity sensor and stuff here we need to swap over to our new screen. So what you do here for the earpiece speaker is what I do is just carefully pry up with something right in this corner here. It's just held down with like a strong adhesive rubber and you just carefully pry up and then the earpiece speaker comes right out like that. If you need to, you may have to swap over this right here over to the new screen, this rubber here. If not, if your new screen comes with some and it has a film on it, you wanna peel that off. So what you would do is just dig it out and then you would set this back in your new screen and it just presses down firmly like that and then for the front camera right here I'm gonna turn this sideways this is the front camera this is just sets in here too there's nothing really holding it it's just kind of friction fit in there and then what you want to do is just pry that out of there and then carefully with something I'm gonna use a tweezers because it's really easy to get in there and it's easier to, for you guys to see this is just stuck down with strong adhesive you just want to carefully peel that up and then what I found works the best if you have something flat I'm gonna use this plastic pry tool and you can just start from this end and you can just keep sliding under here. You can pull up on this very carefully if you, while you're at it if you want. Just to release that adhesive that's under the flex cable here. Just go carefully. And then this whole part lifts out of there. Now from what I'm seeing on the other frame, see how it has this adhesive right here? What you want to do is just peel the film off. There's usually a film protecting it and you want to expose this adhesive. Then what I would do, I'm going to turn this upside down so it's easier to see. And what I would do is I would just start with the front camera, set it right down in where it goes, and with this proximity sensor too. Now make sure if this has film on it to protect the adhesive as you peel that off as well before you set it down in there. Then you just go ahead and set that right down and make sure it's running pretty square here. And then you got that transferred over. So now we got the earpiece speaker and we got the front camera and the proximity sensor. They're all one piece there. So now the only thing, you can look over your screen if there's anything like, there's this little foam piece right here that's just stuck down. You can transfer that over if your new screen doesn't have it or some of these, but they should all have it. So otherwise, you shouldn't need to take this metal piece off. Your new screen should have it if you get the correct part and then you're all set for reassembly. So next what we're gonna do to reconnect is I'm gonna turn this this way. That way we can see this easy enough. And what we wanna do is we wanna reconnect these two connectors right in here. What we need to do is to get enough slack as we have to pick this up to get enough slack in the cables. Then you wanna reconnect those two connectors. I ended up finding that turning it this way is easier. So you wanna reconnect those two connectors, snap them in like that. Once that's reconnected and everything else looks good, we'll go ahead and just set this right down on here. Snap 
snapped in all the way around. Then what you wanna do is go ahead and put all your seven screws in the back part and your two screws on the side here that are different. Remember, these two are different. So you wanna put the shorter screws in these two. So now that you have all your screws in all the way around, don't forget to put your adhesive tape covering this bottom one right down here. Make sure to put that back on. Also at this point, install any SIM cards or memory cards that you have. So to reinstall the battery, you can see the connectors right down here and the connector on the battery. So make sure to turn that down. Just grab your battery, set it right down in there. Next, you wanna grab your back cover. Just set it right down in there. It clips right on all the way around and you're all set. Thanks for watching.